Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to do my November favorites video and before I start I actually I want to say thank you guys so much because today November or today is November 28th so but I'll be posting this probably in a few days or, or so maybe like December 1st or something but today November 28th I checked my YouTube account and I saw that I had 100 subscribers so I I honestly I was so excited like I was I started screaming I can't believe it you guys thank you so so much for watching my videos I uh, started making videos I actually I posted my first video ever like beauty related video because I had this channel uh, I've had this channel since 2006 or so because when I went to journalism school we had to create like a YouTube channel and we had to post all of our reporter packages and all of the assignments and all of the stuff that we did but my first beauty related channel was posted on September 4th so it's been a little bit over two months and I can't believe that I have a hundred people that actually watch my videos that are subscribed to me and that actually care about what I have to say it's really it's amazing so thank you so much so much uh, for that you guys it means a lot it really does I've been subscribing to a lot of new youtubers as well so I do want to give a shout out to all of those people they're just starting out and they're at they're pretty nervous some of them and honestly girls like don't even like worry about it just do whatever makes you happy I know that this is even more than a hobby this is an amazing thing the beauty community is just unbelievable it's so amazing and I can't believe that people are actually so united and so into this you know so don't be scared and just go for it like I did and yeah sorry about the hair it's ridiculous I did not have time to like straighten my hair completely so it obviously looks super curvy curvy curly and wavy and I don't like it so yeah excuse that I'm gonna show you a few products actually that I've been using quite a lot this month so the first product that I'm gonna show you guys is a foundation the dream smooth mousse and this is the um, the mousse <laughs> so it's not really liquid and it's not really a cream foundation when I first bought this foundation I thought that it was a cream so that's why I bought it because I love cream foundations but then I read in the back that this is actually a, mou a mousse it's like a combination of a liquid and a cream foundation so it's like the um, I don't know if you guys know about the Maybelline those like the blush the mousse blush or the mud I don't know what they're called but um, those ones are pretty popular someone's calling me okay let's ignore that thing but uh, it looks like this and this is in 150 classic ivory I don't know why I just I've been liking this one especially right now that it's getting colder I feel like this foundation the consistency of this one it kind of like penetrates my skin a lot more it helps with the moisturizing effect it doesn't feel as drying as my Revlon Colorstay foundation and it actually it lasts all day so I'm actually pretty impressed with this one then the second product is a NYC product and this is I featured this in my collective haul video and it's my smoosh proof I still don't know if it's smoosh or smooch but it's definitely like a Jersey Shore reference because uh, when they would like make out I think it would be like smoosh the smoosh room or something but uh, okay whatever it's the NYC lip stain and this is supposed to last 16 hours I have used this and this doesn't last 16 hours but it does last probably like half of the time like eight hours probably so that's really good because like half eight hours is a long time so it's a lip stain and this is in Rock'em Ruby and it's just a really it's like it looks exactly like a marker and um, I talked about this again in my collective haul video which you guys can check out if you want but this is just a red color and it smells delicious it smells like strawberries I do like the consistency of this it's not really that drying on the lips uh, you do have to put a moisturizer lips before you put this on because it can get a little bit dry but it, if you have a moisturizer you're you're practically okay with that you know what I don't like about these is that I've had them for a few weeks now and they are drying out. Yeah, look at. I don't know if you guys can see. You probably see like a really good like color payoff, but I've been pressing this thing on my hand a lot because it's I don't know why it's drying out. I mean, it's when I close it, I close it like this. I don't know. 
Well, maybe I bought them for a dollar or something, so I guess whatever, you know. It comes with the price, I guess. But but I've been using this a lot. And then I've been using an eyeshadow by Giordana, which I've had for a very long time, but this month I've been kind of reaching towards like the products that I usually neglect. This is the eyeshadow in Moss by Giordana, which looks like this. And this is just a beautiful forest green color. It's a very, very dark green. It's nothing like Humid by MAC and it's nothing like, I don't know, like I've, I've been trying to look at different MAC eyeshadows that resemble this one and I honestly, I haven't been able to find one. It's just a beautiful, and it has some golden shimmer too. So, and it's very pigmented. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I've been putting this pretty much in my crease in my outer corner for to do like different smoky looks. I did a green smoky look, which I can do a tutorial on that if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comments down below. But I've been putting this in my outer corner and my crease and I just I love how it looks and it, it glides on. I love it. It blends really nicely with all of the other eyeshadows that I use. So I've been loving this one. The uh, Maybelline Eye Studio and this is in Simple Cinnamon which looks like this. This one is just a beautiful, again, the sort of colors that I usually go for, burgundies and reddish colors and all of that, so it has a cinnamon kind of color, a burgundy color with a, a champagne. This is kind of like a light pink, really, that one. I'm mixing the two colors together, but what I like to do is I like to use the lighter one in my inner corner and as a brow bone highlight and then I like to use a darker one in my crease or on my lid. But right now I'm mixing the two of them together and you get this beautiful like reddish champagne color when you mix them together and the, they're actually super pigmented, these eyeshadows. So, see? I don't know if you guys can see, it looks beautiful and that sheen is just, it's, I love it love this color so so much so yeah this is another favorite so far I've also been loving this product by NYC I don't know I keep talking about wet and wild and uh, NYC products all the time but I just I love this one this is a what is this this is a color and shine for lips it's uh, okay it's a lipstick pencil by NYC that I got probably last year or something and I don't know if you guys saw my how to do a bold lip video but I used the lip stains and I used a couple of lipsticks and I completely forgot that I had this I would have used this because this is like the perfect it's the perfect product to to like build up a bold lip and actually had it like pull it off pretty much that's why I love using this one and this is in mystique and it looks like this again it's a lipstick pencil and this is very moisturizing look at I just want like this and it's so pigmented so you do have to be really careful with this lipstick because I wouldn't normally put this like all over my lips, like on my lips. I usually like to use this as a lip liner for when I want to put on like a red lipstick after that. It's a beautiful, just like normal, like it's kind of like a blue toned, like a cool red I would say, but it looks definitely like a cherry red as well, so I really like this one. But recently when I've been doing a lot of bronzer and contouring and a little bit of blush, I've been noticing that I kind of want like a little bit of sheen. I want some shine on my cheekbones and down my nose, so I've been reaching for this again, which is my MSF and my Candlelight. The reason why I didn't want to use this is because it was a limited edition product, so I usually, I'm, I'm, a kind of like cheap in that way like I my limited edition stuff I don't like to use them as much because I know that you know when I run out of them they're pretty much going to be done with I'm not going to be able to purchase them again unless I get them from a CCO or something MSF it's definitely not like soft and gentle which is part of the permanent line soft and gentle is definitely more golden toned and this is a just a beautiful pinky pinky champagne color so it looks like this and this is super shimmery. This on the lid would look amazing too with some like eyeliner. I think it would look so pretty. It's that one right there. This color on top right here. I don't know if you guys can see the shine, but it's beautiful. Super shimmery, just definitely my kind of color. I usually go for this. I've been using this I think every day 
in, in November. Yeah, November. November? Yeah, November. <laughs> we kind of like messed up. Okay, and the uh, the last beauty product that I'm going to talk about, it's lipstick by Rimmel. And I love Rimmel lipsticks, especially these ones. The moisture, these ones are the... Um, the Moisture Renew lipsticks that come in the uh, the purple tube that I, I love this packaging by the way, it's adorable. I love these kinds of lipsticks because they're very moisturizing and they're very hydrating. They're nothing like any other drugstore lipstick that I've tried before, honestly. And they have a huge variety of colors to choose from. They have dark colors, nude colors, very natural pinky colors. And this one is a nude delight and they honestly, they glide on, they last, I don't want to say like all day but they last a really long time and they're just so moisturizing that's that's the reason why I love them so much so this one is 700 yeah and this is a nude delight which is a beautiful peachy nude kind of like a tan nude but not really that dark which I like it's like a peachy and that you can kind of see the sheen of it as well so that kind of shows you like how moisturizing these lipsticks actually are and then I just want to show you a couple of things that I've been loving too like a perfume and a shower gel and some chocolates uh, some candy which I think that everyone loves and I love okay so let's start with the good stuff with the chocolates okay uh, this has nothing to do with beauty again but I just I love these ones these ones are the chocolates by Oh, it's upside down. By Nielsen, um, slow pokes and peanuts and caramel and a chocolatey coating, and they are so good. I got them at my local dr um, drugstore, at my local uh, grocery store, and I'm sure that you guys can find these. I've seen these everywhere, pretty much. Now that it's a little bit colder, I just there's nothing I like to do more than sit around and watch TV and eat some chocolates. I just so yummy. I usually go for the dark chocolate ones because um, that, that's my favorite kind of chocolate, like bitter chocolate. Uh, but I, I picked up these ones the other day and I love them. So these ones are really good. And then the perfume that I've been using a lot this month, this one is by Jean Arts or something, Jean Arthes. I don't know how to say that but it's in French and it's called Mixte or Mixed or M-I-X-T-E. <laughs> It, and it's just it's a very cheap perfume I think I, 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 I I'm gonna post the link online if you guys are interested but it's just I think it's like a $12 perfume or something but I just love the scent because it smells kind of like vanilla and it has kind of like a floral sm smell to it so it's definitely very soft and very like soothing and it's not that sweet and it's not that strong so because I don't really like strong smells it's just it's very feminine and girly and the last product that I'm going to talk about is a shower gel by Lush which I've had for uh, months and months and I know that a lot of girls are going to disagree with me because I feel like the majority of girls they always want a floral girly sweet scent uh, when it comes to shower gels I on the other hand I love strong strong smells kind of like masculine smells and so this one is the sonic death monkey and the reason why the shower gel looks as you can see it looks black it's because this is a seriously intense chocolatey, cho chocolate coffee lime juice and hemp oil gel for shower and hair. So it smells exactly like a shot of espresso. Like that's how it is. A shot of espresso with a little bit of lime. Not even like sugar. It doesn't even have like a sweet scent. It's gonna wake you up and so it doesn't say that it has caffeine in it but it smells like pure coffee. Like it really does. So wait. If it says coffee, it probably has caffeine, right? So that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys liked my November favorites. I'm going to try to post this as soon as possible because I do have to post a few videos that I pre-recorded. Again, hopefully you guys liked all of the products that I've been using. And thank you so much for watching my videos, you guys. It means a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.